This is a quick tutorial on how to add a book to your Kindle library for publishing. In other words, how to upload your book to Kindle. We start by going to kdp.amazon.com and that'll take you to your Kindle Direct Publishing, KDP. Everything's about that complicated. It's all really intuitive. If you can upload anything to sell on eBay, you can walk through these steps no problem. So this takes you to your Kindle Direct Publishing bookshelf at where you'll log in with your Amazon account. Same account you use to buy things is the account you use to publish things. So what we're going to do is we're going to add new title. De -de -de. Introducing KDP Select. This is an exclusivity program that Amazon has that gives you a few extra bonuses if you agree that you won't sell your book online to anyone else for from anywhere else. So you make your book exclusive to Amazon for 90 days and then you get the option of making your book free for up to five days during that 90 and your book goes into the Kindle owner's lending library for that 90 days and people with Amazon Prime can borrow your book. You get paid every time your book is borrowed so for some books this is a really good deal. We're, go we're not going to do this for this particular video though. Enter your book details. Sorry, browser hung up. It happens. Sample book for tutorial. Type in the title. Make it a good one, not a dumb one like sample book for tutorial. This book is not part of a series. When I publish my Black Knight Chronicles works, that book is part of a series, so I click yes. And I put in Black Knight Chronicles, volume 1, 2, 3, 4. Edition number, I never use this because they're digital editions. They're all first editions. But if you are doing a nonfiction work or a textbook, for example, you may want to put in the fifth edition if there are substantial changes. Description. This is what hooks people into your book. This is what people see when they come to your page. For example, on my book, The Black Knight Chronicles, Hard Day's Night, where's my description? Ah, here we go. Book description. Children are missing. The police are stumped. Halloween is coming with an ancient evil on the horizon. The vampires are the good guys. And then it tells you a little more about the book. So for the purposes of this exercise, we're just going to copy and paste. Book contributors. Who worked on the book? John Hartness. Author. Add another. Bubba Tremont. Editor. Add another. Bubette. Tremont. Illustrator. You get the drift. We'll remove. And we'll just keep an author. This book is in English. Publication date is optional. I typically put one. It defaults to today's date. Publisher is optional. I use the company name Falstaff Books for my publisher. It's something I made up. It will eventually be transforming into a real company. It's your call if you want to use that or not. ISBN. An ISBN is a unique 10 or 13 digit identifier for your book. It is a way that bookstores order print books and it's a way that they catalog and price print books. For the digital world they're not quite as important and if you click on the what's this it'll tell you oops sorry 
that happened. It'll tell you that it's a unique version of the book. You can't use a print edition ISBN for your digital edition. You also can't use an EPUB edition for your Kindle file. Each of those things has to have a unique ISBN. I don't bother with them for ebooks, personally. Publishing rights. This is Amazon's don't themselves sued disclaimer and it's also you saying I own the right to the work that I'm publishing or this is a public domain work now if you want to republish the works of Shakespeare which are public domain Amazon has very specific guidelines for publishing public domain work um, we're not going to publish a public domain work we're going to write an original book if you wrote it, you have the rights to publish it, unless you have assigned those rights to another publisher. But if you had that, you wouldn't be self-publishing. Target your book to customers. This is where you describe the book. You say, okie dokie, what category does it best fit in? Fiction. Christian fiction. Christian Western Fiction. There's one. And we'll also say that it fits into erotica. No, those categories don't really go together, but this is really just a tutorial so that you know how things happen. And now search keywords. So, for example, cowboy, preacher, Missionary can go in so many directions given the categories we've chosen. Texas, because you never ever mess with Texas. Tequila, because how else are you going to get Christian Western fiction to turn into erotica without tequila? Uh, farmer's Daughter and Sheep. Make what you will out of the keywords that we've chosen. They are purely samples. Upload your book cover. You need a good cover for an ebook. We're going to quickly browse for an image. And then we're going to talk about some of the things that make a good cover. I think that the covers that I have for my Black Knight Chronicles books are very good, so we'll take a look at those. Hard Day's Night. There we go. I am not 100% sure that's the right. No, that's not the right file. There we go. Hard Day's Night, Final, Clean. Okay, and now we upload the image. So you have to have the file on your computer, and then you upload it. Close that window, and you see a sample. Okay, what makes this a good ebook cover? In this very small size, I can read the title, and if I squint a little, I can read my name. If you're younger than me, you can probably read my name regardless. As they say here, a good cover looks good as a full-size image, but also looks good as a thumbnail image. If you can't read the title when it's tiny, or you can't get any idea what the book is about when it's tiny, you're not going to sell very many books. Select a digital rights management option. You must either enable or, di or not enable DRM. We're just going to talk about what DRM is and not, I won't editorialize. Finish reading? Good. 
Okay, we will not enable DRM for this book. Now, oh look, I got an email. We're going to ignore that for now. Book content file. So now I browse my hard drive for the book. I happen to know that I keep all my completed ebooks for Kindle in this file. We're just going to randomly put this up here. Okay. So now I press upload book. Kindle format is a Mobi or a .prc file. I use a piece of software called Scrivener to export my work into files that can be read on a Kindle. There are people who will format books for you and handle all of the HTML and do great things for you. You can hire them. I choose to use Scrivener because I'm cheap and I'm very prolific, so if I were paying someone to format every book I uploaded, I would be out thousands of dollars a year. So cheap and prolific means figure out how to do it yourself. If you're only ever going to do one book, pay somebody and they'll do a great job for you and you don't need to learn those skills. Preview your book. Huh. I actually wrote a foreword for this. Who knows? This just gives you an opportunity to see if there are any egregious errors in the book, if anything looks horrific, whatever. Now, save and continue. And here's where we start setting up the rights. Verify your publishing territories. If you've sold the rights to certain countries, then you no longer have worldwide rights and you must select the pieces of the world that your book can be sold in. For the purposes of this, we're going to assume you haven't sold the rights to Papua New Guinea and you still hold worldwide rights. Choose your royalty. You choose whether or not you want to make a 35% royalty or a 70% royalty. Well, gee, John, why would I ever choose 35%? Because if you select a 35% royalty, you can set your price between $0.99 cents and $200. Amazon doesn't let you sell the book for more than $200. If you select a 70% royalty, you must set your price between $2.99 and $9.99. Amazon decided a long time ago that the sweet spot for ebook pricing was between $2.99 and $9.99. So they will pay you twice as much royalty if you price your book in what they think is the sweet spot. We're going to say $9.99 sounds great. And we're going to go through and set our UK and our German and our French and our Spanish and our Italian pricing based on the US price. This means that for every book we sell at $9.99 we get back $6.97. That's a pretty good deal. D -d -d, Kindle book lending. We're allowing lending for this book. Now we're done. That's it. Finished, kids. By clicking Save and Publish below, I confirm. I click this, then I click this, and the book goes up, and then it goes out there for sale for everybody in the free world with an Amazon account to be able to buy. I'm not going to click Save and Publish because because I don't actually want to publish this sample. But those are the steps for uploading your book to Amazon. Dead simple. Barnes & Noble follows a very similar process. So that's really all you need to get going. I hope this has been helpful. 
If you want to find out more about me, check me out at www.johnhartness.com. Looky there. That's where we are. That's my website. You can buy my t-shirts. You can sign up for my newsletter. You can buy my books. You can watch my videos. All kinds of things. So come visit me here. Come buy my books. Make me rich. And if you need to get in touch with me, if you have any questions, come here. You can find me. Thanks, and good luck.